There we go. Okay, so in case y'all wondering why I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately, more specifically about my artwork, I don't think anybody cares really. I feel like it should be a good learning experience to, I suppose, show you guys the process of me doing a painting. Oh, and uh, and another thing. I suppose I, I, I come to the knowledge that though I am good at painting, I wouldn't quite make it my career as much as I wanted it to be, but I'm gonna have to go with something else, which is perfectly fine. In this case, I'm gonna have to go with probably something my one of my dreams I always wanted to do, which was just become an actor. So I'll show you guys the process of me doing a, I believe it is a 24 by 18 sized painting. You see, now this is a good demonstration of what happens when you get your canvases for 50% off. You know, this one came with a hole, but this is a good, you know, uh, demonstration of how to patch these things up because they're actually much more simpler than you think. And I think, in my opinion, a good artist should learn how to patch these things up. So what you'll be needing is some sort of thin paper like tissue paper or tracing paper. In this case, I'm just using paper towels. I just, you know, uh, splitted it so it would be much more thinner. Then you need some sort of glue device, not device, uh, some sort of glue mixture. In this case, I'm just using a regular old uh, Mod Podge and it works just fine. Essentially, you're going to be making a band-aid on top of it. See, there you go. See, I ripped some of the some of the paper off and I'm just gluing it cleanly down as you can see I'm about to straighten up the wrinkles see there I am see while it's silhouette just you know make sure all the wrinkles are out even if there's little minor wrinkles it really doesn't matter because they're gonna be mostly unnoticeable and that's perfectly fine using my paintbrush just to smooth it out and guess what? After that's done, you're going to be flipping it over. As you can see, my nice shorts. You're going to be flipping it over. And on the other side, where that patch is, you're going to do exactly the same thing on the back. This is just to make it stronger. And you see, things like this, after when somebody buys them, th things like this, imperfections, are a good way of figuring out if the painting is real or not. So these little minor imperfections prove that this was made with love so in my opinion these things are a good thing and just like the same thing as we did to the front we're just gonna smooth it out with just Mod Podge glue and this one doesn't need to have to be as smooth but you know because no one's gonna see it this this is the back side but you know it's better to make it smooth and after 15 minutes after it's fully dried you can start on your actual drawing so see uh, nice and stable so now you're drawing. Now I will admit some of these drawings are going to be changed up in the final painting. And honestly, that is perfectly fine. This is a Medusa painting. I went many, many research on how she's supposed to be looking like. And I'm going to give this entire painting a certain color palette to make a pop. The main two colors are going to be red and green. But to make it more dusty, I'm going to be adding a bit of brown or crimson. I want the entire background or all the stone figures to be very dark and the, the red color because I want her to really just pop. Oh, also, just a reminder, black and white are not colors, they're shades. So black doesn't count as a color, thank you. Mix all of those colors together and you get this really ugly poop brown color. But don't worry, later we're going to make it a lot more bloody red. But for now, we're going to use this. I am going to be using my pipette, I believe that's what it's called, to transfer a bit of just normal tap water into it to make it a lot more transparent and more fluidy, more liquidy, so it's easier to spread. Then you're going to get a good size brush, not huge brush, but just, just a good size. 
And here is just me showing off my previous drawing before I change it up a bit. But Medusa is still going to stay the same thing. Okay, so you're going to take that Dookie Brown mixture and honestly just fill the entire thing. Roughly fill it though. Don't be perfect. See how I'm doing it like that? Just, just like just roughly fill it in. The whole reason why I mentioned that we're going to be putting water into it. And I think I mentioned this already. But it's just to make it transparent so that way we can see what's under it, which is the drawing. And even if I will change up some of it, or better yet, most of it, I still am going to make Medusa, which is the main character inside of this painting, the exact same. So, you know, it's crucial for everything else. This is the just in case if everything doesn't get fully filled. Oh, here's a time lapse of me doing it. So just in case if... It, in case like I don't fully fill it this background color is going to fill it for me so this really helps I I always suggest you doing this when you're doing large paintings like this also in this case because I'm it's a warm color it's gonna give off a warm vibe now like I said a little bit before I'm probably going to be skipping through a little bit here is me painting a bunch of stone swords for um, some details and as you can see, lots of cracks, lots of highlights. I think it's gonna look good. But as you can see, I am still keeping the very basic color palette for at least the background. So that way when I place on the green, which is what Medusa's color is going to be, it's gonna make her pop. Okay, I did this off camera, but I put a lot more red into that same brown color. And as you can see, I'm gonna use this fan brush, really fill it, and we're gonna go around the edges to give more color. Just more of a contrast, so that way it looks bloody without happen to, there to be blood. So it, it's gonna give a good effect, I promise. Then you're going to get yourself a towel and you're just going to be rubbing that color all around the edges. So that way the entire thing has the same vibe. As you can see, it's barely there, but if we keep adding different colors, it's gonna look much better. Okay, again, I did off camera, but, and it's because there was a lot of detail and I was just lazy, honestly. There's Medusa, all in her glory, completely green and very intense compared to the background. And with her being this intense green, it makes her look like a superior goddess slash magical thing which is exactly what I was going for. And this is my process.